What's up guys? Welcome back to a new video, a new case break series. If you saw my 2020 Star Wars Masterwork series, um, this is a new one. I have a full, brand new, sealed 12 box case of the new Star Wars Holocron. So the you might say, well, why'd you buy that? Because the autographs and that stuff is really bad. And that's true, the autographs and this stuff has, has been pretty awful. Um, you know, it's really, really, really hard to hit anything good, even more than normal for Star Wars. But um, the sketches and this stuff have been really fantastic. Um, there's a lot of good parallels, short prints, so it's kind of a cool little set. It's not the most expensive set, so I went ahead and decided to figure to grab some. So, all right, let's rip into this. Let's open this thing up. Definitely, as a card collector, one of the coolest things you could possibly do is to rip into a brand spanking new case of something. A whole certified fresh case um, of <clears throat> cards and uh, be able to open it yourself and go through it. It's definitely one of the most thrilling things for sure. So let's go ahead and empty this out. Boom, got it. First try. I'm going to keep the box over there for the cards that come out. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and push this back like this. And um, I don't know how we're going to do this. I was thinking about just going kind of like down the first row here and then going over, but I might just go like this back and forth. So it'd be like box one and box seven kind of thing. Um, yeah, let's just go this. Let's go down. We'll go down one side and down the other. So, all right, here we go. Box number one from my full case of Star Wars Holocron. Here we go. So when this ca this set first came out, it looked, you know, it looked kind of meh. But as I started watching it more and the cool parallels and uh, obviously there's a lot of good sketches in this stuff. I mean, I think the sketches in this stuff rival the sketches in any other Star Wars set that's been out, to be honest with you. And I think this set replaces, um, is going to replace Galactic Files. It's kind of like the new Galactic Files for Star Wars. So here's the odds. If you haven't watched any of the breaks of this stuff yet. And sorry my voice is echoey. We've been doing remodeling and everything, and so my man cave's pretty empty right now. But here we go. All right. Mother Talzin. And I'm not going to go through and, and read. Oh, and there's the autograph. Little in the first pack, and it's this dude, Rush Clovis, out of 500. Wow. First pack on the left in this. That was quick, and there is a lot of this dude. So let's go ahead and sleeve him up. Like I said, I did not buy this case for the autographs. I mean, obviously, it'd be cool to get a, a, a nice dual or triple or you know, one good autograph. Um, but this is the majority of what you're going to get a lot of stuff like this. These, I mean, why are they even numbered if they're out of 500? You know what I mean? That seems kind of strange. Like, why would you want to number stuff so high? But, um, and I'll go through later and look and see if I can find any short prints. Short prints would have the S at the end of the card name. So, all right, there we go. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Okay, here we go. And uh, if I miss anything, let me know. I will do my best. Like I said, I'll go through all these after. Otherwise, this video will be seven hours long, and nobody wants to watch that. <laughs> Keep my eyes out for the black parallels, too, because those can be really easy to miss. Like, really easy. All right, next pack. My man Lando. Greens, Bo-Katan, Tatooine. And I do want to try to put together a set of this. I mean, not a master set, but at least one of the mini master sets. But I know it's going to take about 80 years to set, to uh, go through. And that might be a... Sh a sh uh, nope, that's not actually. Uh, that was a short print, but it's not. Uh, nothing there, okay. Next pack. Okay, nothing in there. Dad. And nothing in there. Out. No, nope, out. Out. Sorry about that. Kids coming in. Anytime you do anything, they need something. When you're just sitting there doing nothing, they don't need anything. But as soon as you start doing something, they need something, right? For those of you who are parents, you can probably relate. All right, and nothing there. That Kylo Ren looked a little different. Maybe not. 
No, okay. Wasn't sure. Now, I don't think, I've seen some cases where it's like almost every box had a short print and then some where there was only a few. So, um, we'll see what happens with this one. So far, no, oh, there's a short print right there. Speaking of backwards, Finn. Short print Finn. Not maybe the best one to get. There's a cool hollow 3PO, but nevertheless, it is a short print. So, you know, maybe three to four of these per case. It's kind of the average I think I've seen. All right, and that's right. I, do, I guess the short prints are turned backwards, aren't they? I was thinking they weren't. I don't know why. Jar Jar. Frozen Imprisonment. This should be an easy set to put together in a whole case. Uh, Adventures of Han Solo. You know, they're, uh, for what these cards are, they're pretty simplistic as far as overall design, but I like them. Like I said, they're very similar, very similar to Galactic Files, so that's kind of what I'm thinking they're going to replace Galactic Files. Nothing there. I don't think we've gotten a numbered card yet, have we? Unless I've missed something. Like I said, I'll go back and look after to make sure I didn't miss anything, but there's the child green. I think I've already got that. Greens, all right, nothing there. Still looking for our first numbered card, as crazy as that is. Unless I missed something. Oh, here's our first one. Oh, it's a purple too, and it is, oh, Mace Windu purple, that's cool. Numbered out of 10. I was wondering when we are gonna get our first numbered card. Six of 10. So this is another one of the reasons why I bought this set. A lot of cool parallels. Um, again, it's a simplistic design, but it looks cool. Uh, sometimes less is more, sometimes simple is better. So, instead of being all crazy in the background or something. Okay, so that's the first box. No sketch out of the first box. Uh, got the short print fin, purple mace windu, and then this, you know, 500 Rush Clovis dude. Um, Robin Atkin Downs as Rush Clovis. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do box number two on this video real quick. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right down to the next one here. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess I didn't wanna open. Now you gotta be careful, I mean, these autographs, you, normally, you know, Tops tends to put their autographs backwards and stuff, so I'm kinda of a little surprised why. Let's see if this pack has the autograph in it again. That's what the last box had. We will see, and if we can somehow find it before we see it, then we'll put it aside. Okay, it is, all right, so let's put that aside then. We're gonna put that right there. So in this case so far, the first two boxes of the autographs on the top left. I know some people will have the top bottom right, some people have it top middle. I mean, it seems kind of all over. I don't know how Tops is doing their correlations and everything, but um, you know, interesting to see. All right, so probably gonna, like I said, probably try to do two boxes per video so there's not 12 videos of this stuff because I don't think anybody wants to watch 12 videos of this. Normally I don't do two boxes in a video for stuff, but uh, we'll go ahead and do that this time. So there's a lot of packs. I wanna make sure the videos aren't too super long because you don't wanna hear me drool on and on and on. You're like, just get to the cards already, dude. All right. All right, just base cards and inserts so far. Here in box number two, we did find our auto already. Well, look at that. It's a whole bunch of, a couple of Mandalorian characters there, right? Almost back to back, Captain Rex foil. It would be cool to put the whole set uh, foil set together. I don't think you're gonna get all that out of one case, I don't think. Got our first number card coming up. It's an orange of Admiral Raddus at a 99. 73 of 99. Go ahead and sleeve that up. So what I've seen on average is there's like three to four sketches per case. Um, 
usually three, sometimes four, it just kind of depends, but any, oh, and we got our first sketch, check that out, nice, first sketch of the case. So again, we'll set this down and we'll take a look at those last hits at the end. There's a Lando, I have the black five of five of that card. Almost be, be kind of interested to put that that rainbow together since I've got the the black out of five. Might not be a, a bad idea, actually. It'd be really hard, though. I don't know if I want to invest the money in all those, but we'll see. If I, if I pull the one on one of that card, then it's destiny. I've got to do it, right? There's the green. Already got the base, obviously. All right, here we go. IG-11, lots of Mandalorian stuff in this, um, as far as sketch cards go. Uh, I don't know how many autographs in the Mandalorian show there are in this, but there's a lot of, uh, there's definitely a, a fair amount of um, character cards. Um, that's for sure. There's Luke Skywalker, the old man Luke. Wicket. All right, doing okay on time here, 11 minutes, it's not bad. All right, base, and last pack of the box, and then we'll take a look at the sketch and the autograph. I'll do the autograph first, I think, then the sketch, Boba. All right, so I didn't see any short prints in that one. Like I said, they should, I think they're turned around, right? That's the, what. The one was, so let's do the autograph first because like I said, the autographs in this are really, really hard to hit. Um, and then we'll we'll go ahead and do the uh, sketch card because that's really what I'm excited about, the sketches and this stuff. So, ooh, at a 25 CPN, you've just received an authentic autograph card of, oh, <laughs> this dude again, I already have this dude. Unfortunately, I mean, it is a short printed autograph. It's not one of the base autos out of like a 500, but... I do already have this out of a single box numbered out of 99, so. Oh well, all right, so there's the other autograph. Let's take a look at the sketch card now. Is it, yeah, okay. All right, so let's take a look at the artist here first. Forces with you in this authentic Star Wars sketch card artist is Caleb Hildenbrandt. I don't think I recognize that name. Let's see what Caleb did. Oh, Darth Vader, oh man, my buddy Ray is gonna want this card. He is gonna want this card bad because he collects Vader sketches. That's not a bad. That's not a bad sketch. Not not the, the best one I've ever seen in my life, but it's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool. So good job there, Caleb Hildenbrandt. I do like that sketch a lot. Pretty good detail, for sure. My buddy Ray's gonna really want this sketch. So I might have to use that in some trade bait uh, with a couple other cards he has. I really want. So out of those two boxes. Our two autographs was Rush Clovis at a 500, well, the character anyways, the Robin Atkin Downs, uh, this Christopher Patrick Nolan dude, and this one's have only 25. Um, we got the Finn short print. We got the Mace Windu at a 10, which is pretty sweet. We've got the Admiral Raddus at a 99, and this pretty killer Darth Vader sketch card by Caleb, I think it's Hildenbrandt. So there you go, guys. There's the first two boxes of my case of... 2020 Star Wars Holocron. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the first two boxes. And I will catch you in the next video.